Hey, what's up? I'm Walt. I am going to jailbreak my 3G iPhone running the 3.0 software. And I figured I'd make a quick video while I'm doing it and um, throw it up on YouTube so you guys can kind of see how the process works. I have got a my 3G iPhone, which is jailbroken, although I have not yet updated it to the 3.0 software. First things first, I need to put the 3.0 software on this phone and then I am going to jailbreak it. I'm going to go in here to iTunes. <clears throat> and I'm going to go up to the help menu here, check for updates. And this is going to say, a new version of iTunes 8.2 is available. Would you like to download it now? I have not done that yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so iTunes has been updated to the newest version, 8.2, and I'm going to plug in my iPhone now. All right, so the iPhone just showed up in the list of devices here. And this is saying that a new software version is available for the iPhone. That's 3.0. So yes, I'm going to download and install the new software. So if you go and look in your downloads, the new iPhone software update should be downloading. This is 231 megabytes. So it'll take a couple minutes to download. All right, and once it's done downloading, it's going to install it on your phone. So just be patient let that happen. Okay, so that part of it is now done. 3.0 software is on my phone. For me, it took 19 minutes. It took two minutes to download the software update and 17 minutes for it to actually update the software and restart the phone and all that stuff. So now if we take a look at the phone, yeah, and we are now, okay, see, as you can tell, the new stuff on there, there's the voice memos, if I swipe this way, I've got the spotlight or whatever they call it, but it is no longer jailbroken. So I'm going to need to re-jailbreak, and for that, we're going to need to use Red Snow. All right, so Red Snow is what we're going to be using to jailbreak the iPhone. Again, this is, going, this is a 3G iPhone that I'm going to be using. I'm not worried about unlocking it because I'm going to be using it on AT&T. All I want to do is jailbreak it. So I'm going to go down here and pick one of these since I'm on Windows. Let's go, I don't know, iPhone.hack.org looking thing. That should open up a uh, download right there. And I'll go ahead and save it. So that's going to take, it's a 10 megabytes, one minute remaining. Mm, eh, a little bit slow, but whatever. All right, so once you've downloaded the zip file for Red Snow, you're going to need to extract it, and then it'll be here. You're going to go into the Windows one, and then you're going to go to Run It. Now, this is going to bring up something that says, please select the IPSW for your current firmware. That took me a while to figure out what the heck I needed to do, and I found this page, the iPhone download blog, um, that has all the IPSW for the different... Um, firmware. So I'm going to download this 3.0 one and I'll put a link to this under the video. All right. So that's again 230 megabytes for the restore file and once that's done then I'll continue from there. All right so that is done downloading the IPSW which by the way stands for iPhone software. So there it is right there the 3.0 version and now we can continue. We're just going to select the desktop, select that software right there, and it's processing it, and then in a second we can go ahead and click next. Dun -dun. All right, then it says please select which options you would like to have, only the one is there. I don't know if that's right or not, but uh, we're going to go ahead and install that sucker, because that's what I want. Okay. This next step is kind of a pain in the butt. First of all, your phone needs to be plugged in and fully turned off. Not just in standby, it needs to be fully off. Okay? And that's going to take probably 10 or 15 seconds to totally shut down. So, while that's shutting down, here's what's going to happen. When your phone is off, you're going to click next and be prepared to immediately hold down this button up top for I think three seconds and then without letting go of that, you're going to hold down the home button 
and then when it tells you to, you're going to release the top button, but keep holding down the home button for like another 30 seconds. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, just trust me, that's what you need to do. When you click next, you follow along with what it says here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But that's what you need to do is follow exactly what it says up here. So I'm going to do that right now. And now it's being jailbroken right now. It's working. Dun, dun, dun. Very exciting. It's just a white screen right now. There it goes. Nice. Downloading jailbreak data is what it says right there. So it's doing all this stuff right here. So at this point, the phone has been updated to the 3.0 software. I'm just waiting for the, the jailbreaking to be finished. Looks like it's going to be there soon. It's probably going to restart right about now. Looks a lot better than it did last time with all those command lines. It looks like they've added some graphical stuff to it. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to see when, it's, when it restarts here in just a second that the phone not only has the 3.0 software on it, but also it's got um, the jailbreak apps and all that stuff. Hopefully the same things that it did before are still, are still present on it. Okay, and that is all there is to it. The phone is now, not only does it have the 3.0 software on it, but it's also been jailbroken. See, there's the shady little store. Um, as you can see, I'll go in and uh, dun, 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 cut, copy, and paste are right there. So that's all there is to it. All you need to do is basically to walk through the steps again are just go into iTunes, get the 3.0 software on the phone, and then um, get the uh, Red Snow from the dev team. Just download it anywhere here. The only kind of tricky part that we ran into was the, um, the iPhone software, the 3.0, which I wasn't quite sure where to get that, but I'll put a link to that in the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's pretty easy to do. Um, this does keep your phone locked to AT&T, so if you don't have a problem with that, it's really easy to do. Just go ahead and do it. Hopefully this made it a little bit easier for you, and um, enjoy.